And we're back. Again. I've got to figure out something else to start episodes with, and then it's going to get old. I don't know why my alarm keeps failing to go off. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, no big deal. As I was saying, I do not think Geralt would care to take sides in this war, Witcher neutrality and all. That, for those of you who don't know about it, is a thing. Witchers, I don't know if you would say by policy or by doctrine, I suppose, are like to remain politically neutral, like always. So that being said, I don't know if there's really a neutral option here. I would say neutral would be you're free to go, but the medicine stays with me, but I mean even remaining neutral, what reason is there for me to keep the medicine? So I guess what I'm going to say is, I have no desire to drag this guy back to the to the North Guardians. And they're all rich. I'm sure they can make do without this one shipment. So, whatever. Just take it. Get out of my sight. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Hey. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltus' memory. Oh, well, there we go. Got my money. <laughs> and now it's raining. Uh, gosh, how far did we end up riding out? Pretty far, turns out. Oh, oh hey, the herbalist. Well, that's where we're going. Roach. Rosai? Rosai. Ren Renegrin? Ren I don't know. Come on! It is raining. Oh, this will cool the stuff in heat. Move it! Wow, this is a small, unbeaten path. Am I going the right way? What am I saying? Why is the map telling me to go the other way? Oh right, it's taking me to that's taking me to the quest, not the herbalist. Following my own marker on the trail that we blaze. That yeah, wasn't really appropriate, but I'm sure it will be in the future, at which point I will sing it again. Wow, there are a lot of plants around here. But I guess she is an herbalist. Sure would be crappy of me to steal all of her stock, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's all this? Anybody? Knock, knock. Tell me you're Yes? Oh, wow. You're younger than I thought you'd be. Enjoy this <laughs> one. Oh, was there a woman laying there? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yes, Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? <laughs> Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. You look pretty young Loons are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Wow. That's sad. I could try to help her. What could I do? Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. Oh. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. Ugh. I understand. Do as you will. Hmm. Yeah, normally I would assume that I'm supposed to, if normally I would assume that the potion would save her. But 
given that, uh, given how dark and morally ambiguous these games tend to be, I'm going to assume that, hey, the Witcher's potions are toxic and poisonous to humans, and they are even toxic and poisonous to Witchers, that's why they can only use them in moderation. So yeah, probably not gonna work to use it on her. I'll be sad if I'm wrong. And, uh, uh, that'll be unfortunate, but I have to make the choice, and I'm making what I hope is the right one. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Huh, so here's someone you can buy herbs from at the start. Nifty. What else she got? Glyph of Quen. Oh, wow, that's expensive. Bear hide for some reason. Powdered pearl. Wow, that also is expensive. What's this? Manuscript white gold. Manuscript of spirit. Alright, so we can get these early. Troll decoction. Generates vitality during and outside of combat. Huh. So, what's the difference between that and swallow? Maybe it lasts longer. Noonwraith decoction. That's complete immunity to the knockdown, hypnosis, stun, and blindness effects. What that noon wraiths use? Nifty. Hmm. Water essence. Wine stone. That's what that's called. What's this? Oh, saltpeter? Oh shoot, it's saltpeter! I need this for bombs! 25 crowns a pop. That's not, uh, that's not cheap. What's that? Stamelford's Dust. Look at this powder. Oh, she has some wolf livers. What's that? Danian Herbal. Oh, it's alcohol. North Guardian Lemon. Why are they so expensive? You're telling me that guy that bought me around, he bought me a 99 crown drink? Or is this chick just lynching me? <laughs> My gosh, why is everything so expensive? Ergot seeds. I know I need this for bombs. 25 crowns a pop. I need this for bombs, 40 crowns a pop. That's just mean. Okay, um, also I know where to come to if I need just a couple more ingredients for a potion that I'm missing. For now, let us grab this. Because Dwarven Spirit is used in a lot of potions, by my understanding. White goal we will hold off on, because as far as I got in the last game, I didn't need it for anything yet. And, uh, I guess that's about it. Can she make stuff for me? Mahakaman Mah Spirit. Yeah, see, I have no idea where to get that. That's the problem. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We really? must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslav. He'd bare his chest to work. <laughs> the novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Well, that's not entirely sad. Yes, you're here now. 
What's good is good. Farewell. And death's bed. Rue dose of the swallow potion. Once again, Geralt had a near impossible choice to make, a choice between a greater and lesser evil. While preparing to hunt the griffin, he had come across one of the beast's victims, a simple peasant woman named Lena. She had been on her way to meet her lover when the griffin attacked. The beast had mortally wounded her, for which its potion could save her life or cause her to perish in agony. Gosh. You know, maybe I should... Maybe I should. Because, I mean, she's going to die either way. Even if she ends up dying painfully, that's, at least there's a chance of saving her, right? Isn't that a better option? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, that's all the time we have, so... Well, for this particular episode. And uh, let's jump right into the next one. Whoop!